a new version has been released in the yolo family of models yolo version 12 yolo v12 is out and in this video we're going to talk about yolo v12 we're going to get an understanding of what it proposes and how to run yolo v12 so guys here on the screen you can see the github repository for the yolo v12 model uh, if we scroll down here we can find out about uh, all the information about the yolo v12 here the code is given in this repository as well and then here is the paper so this is the yolo v12 paper attention centering real time object detector so guys uh, one of the main uh, contributions that the authors claim in this uh, uh, yolo v12 release is that they have introduced the attention centric mechanism in this particular model with attention centric mechanism being uh, introduced uh, they uh, essentially claim that this gives better performance and better speed so guys uh, yolo v12 was released by teams at university of buffalo university of chinese academy of sciences so it was a uh, combined uh, contributed uh, contributions or combined work of both these groups uh, here on the screen uh, guys we can see this plot right so this comparison is with this uh, uh, figure basically shows the comparison of YOLO models with other models, other YOLO models and other uh, uh, detection models uh, that YOLO often competes with. And here uh, on the left, we have the comparison of latency versus the mean average precision, MAP, right? So uh, latency basically is how quick the model runs and the MAP is the accuracy of the model, how well the model performs. Similarly, on the right, we have the comparison between the flops, that is how many flops, how many operations, flops is floating point operations, how many uh, uh, floating point operations does it use and what is the uh, uh, accuracy, what is the precision, what is the performance like, right? So here we can see the red line over here is YOLO V12 and all the other models like YOLO V11, YOLO V10, RTDTER, uh, all of them are given in this particular chart here, right? And here we see that YOLO uh, V12 has the minimal latency and highest performance um, as reported by these folks here. Similarly, uh, in minimal flops, floating point operations, it's able to produce the best performance out of all the other methods. So guys, um, if we go here, um, in the code repository there are uh, uh, there, there are there is the entire uh, open source code available for this particular model and uh, there's another interesting thing uh, they have also released this demo application um, and you can run this demo application locally uh, let me show you what this application looks like so if we go to this uh, hugging face spaces link that is given in the repository uh, this is essentially the demo application code that they have released. Uh, here in this particular demo application, you can upload uh, the image that you want to run your model on. And uh, you can give it the confidence threshold that you want. And when you click on detect, uh, it will essentially uh, run the YOLO V12 model on this particular image and show you the output right here. Now here it's saying there is a long queue and it may take time. And as you can see here, it's showing that it's going to take 800 seconds to process this particular uh, image. Now, this is not because the model is slow. YOLO V12 is not slow, but it's because the uh, the hugging face where this is being hosted has resource constraints and hence it's not able to quickly process this particular uh, image but uh, uh, i can show you uh, the app running locally as well later on uh, so let's first look at what are the main benefits of the yolo v12 so the key features are area attention mechanism so that that's the first thing wherein uh, the authors claim uh, or authors have implemented this area attention mechanism what this means is uh, and without going into much technical details this means that um, it is specifically able to focus on certain areas in 
the region of interest in the uh, in the region of interest of the image and hence um, with that area attention it's able to have good performance and also better uh, efficiency in terms of speed um, uh, similarly, uh, the second thing they introduced is this RELAN, Residual Efficient Layer Aggregation Network. Uh, now, this is uh, designed to address optimization challenges uh, in large scale attention centric models. So, they have introduced this other main major idea uh, and they have optimized the attention architecture in YOLO v12. Um, the problem with attention based models were that uh, for the vision tasks um, that YOLO usually solves, the speed is important. The real-time performance is what's needed. And um, CNNs were being used for this uh, because they provide uh, good performance, good speed. With uh, these attention-based models, the speed was being compromised. But now these newer models are essentially overcoming those challenges and introducing those attention-based architectures in uh, the uh, in in these yolo models for real time inference as well now guys how you can get up and running with the yolo v12 model let's talk about that in this video now the first thing is there is this installation instruction in the github repository for the yolo v12 uh, so let's uh, run these things one thing at a time and we will um, set this environment up so if I go on to my terminal where I will be running this. So I have already um, run this uh, setup once, uh, but I'll still uh, go over all of this and showcase how it works. So the first command is, first of all, guys, the first thing you need to do is you should uh, clone this GitHub repository, right? So for doing that, this is how you do it, git clone. And from this repository, let's just get the link to clone this repository. So you copy and um, you will paste this. Git clone, this repository is going to clone this repository in your folder on your computer. Now, I have already cloned the repository, so I'm not going to run this command. But basically, this command helps you uh, clone the repository, right? So once you've cloned it, then go into the repository, you cd into this. And then we run this command. Um, sorry. Let me copy the correct command, um, which is from here. Uh, the wget command here, which is going to download uh, the, the, the required software for the flash attention module that is used in this particular setup. So when we run this, it is going to download the flash attention module to your local directory right so this is where that download is happening now guys this flash attention module is what uh, this uh, yolo v12 is using at the back end in order to do its computations so you can see that that flash attention module has been downloaded you can see here there are two files the reason is i had already downloaded it before so that's the reason you see two files here so i'm going to just go ahead and remove one of them just uh, to make it easier. Uh, the second step here is to create a Conda environment. Now again, this Conda environment creation is just for the purpose of uh, creating a virtual environment. So you can run your setup in there. Um, it's a good practice to create a virtual environment. So this is how you create it. If you run this command, the virtual environment will be created. Now, uh, because I've already created one, so I'm just gonna activate it. So if we look on the screen here, guys, here is this uh, uh, command to activate that virtual environment. So I'm just going to run that command. And with that, now I have activated that virtual environment. Now this command pip install dash r requirements is going to install all the requirements for this particular setup, right? So let's go into the requirement file here and I'll show you these are all the requirements. So there's torch, torch vision flash attention. Now this flash attention is what we just downloaded. This module we just downloaded, right? Then there's all these other uh, packages that are required for this particular thing to run. Now guys, once you have done this, uh, the second next step is to install this particular package, um, this particular software. So for that you run pip install dash e dot. 
which essentially will uh, run this project will use the uh, this pyproject.toml to essentially install your entire project right so uh, now guys um, after running pip install requirements uh, the next step as we know is pip install uh, dash e dot and this will essentially um, install the entire github package in your virtual environment now once all of this is done your environment is ready so because i've done all these steps um, i will um, essentially not run them again the environment has been prepared it's ready and let me first show you this application uh, and that application code that they have provided python app.py is the application that we tried on hugging face but it did not work or it did not give us the result quick enough the reason being uh, a lot of resources are being consumed at hugging face every second so let's run it locally here so now this is being run and it says that you are running on this particular server right so if i go to that url now i can click on this image i can use this image and automatically right away i can see the results right um, i can upload some other images here as well let me show you some example from my own uh, desktop computer um, let's try this image here yeah for example this is a random image i was using for some other project and here once this is run now it's essentially processing running the yolo model on this particular image and in this case guys it's running the yolo v12 model v12 small and it gives you the couch and the bottle right so it has uh, done the detections properly now after doing all of this how can you actually use um, um, or how can you run this in code right so i've set up a jupyter notebook right you can do this in google colab as well after you've done all the setup of your environment uh, the first step is to import ultralytics uh, from ultralytics import the yolo model second step is to load the um, so this step here is basically going to load the yolo small model yolo 12 small model and this is the yolo model now guys uh, if we look at the model this is the entire model this is all the layers that are in the model and if you are interested you can go into the details right now guys uh, the next step is to run the uh, model on uh, your particular image so over here you can put the path to the image so i put the path to the same image i showed you over here in this particular demo um, so i put that path through the image and I run the detection. Now, guys, it's, it took around 18 milliseconds to run uh, the model on that image, which was 640 by 480. Now, this means at um, 18 milliseconds, it's faster than 50 frames per second, right? So, this is the real time performance it's providing, right? And let's just save the results to the output JPEG in the folder. So, if we go on to the YOLO v12 folder, and this is the output file. Um, you can see that it's the same result as we saw in this particular output right so this is how you can programmatically run the particular model now guys the next common question is that uh, everyone asks us that you know you've shown us uh, how to run it on an image but how do we run it on a video right we want to see it running on a video so here is a sample video let's first let me show you the sample input video that i want to feed into this model so guys, this is a video of uh, um, a highway and cars running on the highway. And let's see how the YOLO model performs on this particular video, right? So this is the sample input video. Now, uh, the very simple way of running this is uh, you run the model and pass it the path to the MP4, the video file that you want to run it on. And we are selecting here save equals true because it just makes it easier the entire output of the model inference is saved to a file and then we can view it later so once we run it here you see it running right now guys so it's taking around uh, 8 to 10 millisecond in most of the frames sometimes it's taking 18 to 20 millisecond right so the performance is above 50 frames per second in every single run 
and here uh, it's still running 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 and it's in, in total there are around 718 frames in this image and as we are talking it has completed the processing for all the frames right so now we can go ahead and look at the results um, so in uh, here um, in your source folder if we can see if you see here it says the results saved to um, your yolo v12 runs detect under the predict folder so guys if i open this particular file it will show the results from this run and we can see that it has made the detections for all the cars it's also detecting a person here and it is detecting almost everything in the scene it's also detected the train here right so the model is pretty good at doing so were yolo v10 v11 right so these have been all good models it's just now the difference between slight improvement in performance and speed and the architectures vary right uh, the other thing i want to show you guys in this video is that we have integrated the yolo v12 in our uh, vision product uh, which uh, uh, in which we have the uh, the support for almost all the yolo version models starting from yolo v8 and here uh, we have integrated v12 as well um, you could use yolo v12 nano small large model uh, any of them is okay and then this uh, video can be fed into the product and it will perform the detections on it right so for example here you can see the same video now the task here is just vehicle detection so it's not going to detect any persons and you can see in the screen here that all the vehicles have bounding boxes drawn around them it's able to make the detections in the particular video guys so um, in case you are interested to know more about this product um, we have demos available and we can help you if you're looking to uh, set yourself uh, up with some sort of a tracking system detection system for your facility for your industry we can assist you with that as well uh, uh, and, and this is uh, a dashboard and we can add more analytics right for example we can have more analytics around how many detections you want to how you want to view the detections maybe you want to view uh, average detections per month weekly you can get all those summaries and this is just a sample of uh, what uh, the capabilities are and as said uh, the uh, version 12 of the yolo model is already integrated and we can see that the dashboard can see show you the live detection show you the results um, for your video streams for your cctv camera streams and hence you can have real-time analytics and historical uh, analysis of whatever has been going on in your setup so that's it for this video guys in summary we've talked about the yolo v12 model we have seen how to set it up and how to run it we've seen some uh, illustrations from the report from the paper about the performance um, and we have tried to run it in code both on image and video uh, we have also shown you uh, how this model integrates in the convolve ai's vision product uh, which can be used for life detections and in order to um, uh, view historical trends and analysis of how these detections have happened over time so common example is in warehouses or in manufacturing industry where uh, you want to track certain objects or you want to track um, certain uh, workers in hazardous areas you can have these kind of uh, uh, this product wherein these models ai models can be deployed that can help you do real-time detection notify people if they are doing something unsafe or also have historical trend of how your uh, workforce or how uh, the production how everything is progressing in your facility that's it for this video guys if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you are notified about any new video that we upload uh, if you think this will help any of your friends please share it with them we would be grateful thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video